Bochani. Hello, everyone. I come from a small town in a former Bantu stand called Kwandebele. For those of you who don't know, a Bantu stand is a partially self governing area set aside during the period of apartheid in South Africa in order for the apartheid government to further exclude indigenous people from fully participating and benefiting in the growth of the country. Growing up, we had no parks or libraries or any conventional recreational activities set aside for children. All we had was our imagination, which allowed us to create alternative universes that were not bound by time or space. The streets, abandoned cars and houses were our spaceships. We played like there was no tomorrow, creating stories, building characters, and reimagining ourselves beyond the positions we held in society as mere Ndebele children. If we were not outside playing, we were sitting with our grandmothers, learning the ancient secrets of being through creation and expression. We did beadwork, weaved, and gardened. All these activities had one thing in common. They all required absolute presence and stillness. For us, the art was never the final product, but the journey of getting there. It was the ability to be in constant communication with whatever it is you are trying to create. The magic was in the process. I have since not forgotten those moments as they've helped create the framework for my practice today. A lot has happened between those days and now. My practice has evolved from tribal dancing to writing poetry to drama and everything in between. However, in 2017, during my final year of studying a BA degree majoring in politics and history, my little brother went to initiation. The initiation is a coming of age ceremony that takes place in the Ndebele culture every four years for young men. The euphoria that filled the air in my hometown during this time was contagious. So as a result, I decided to document his homecoming experience through a series of images and videos. It was as if I had been pregnant with creation and it had finally found a vessel of expression. I was in complete presence with each and every moment and I had never felt more alive. I was finally being through creation and expression. Consequently, during this time, I came across a quote from Muzu that says, Africans need to interpret their history themselves and seek to reinvent Africa according to their own terms. This quote, coupled with my brother's homecoming, became the fertile soil upon which Ndebele Superhero was born. Ndebele Superhero is a platform that talks, about, that talks about the evolutionary process of culture through the perspective of a 21st century Ndebele woman. It leans on the ancient teachings of my childhood as well as the tools of critical thinking, engagement, and research that I learned through my studies. It speaks to the stories of the past, the present, and the reimagination of our future. It aims to spark conversations through art of what we can become beyond what we are expected to be. The overarching theme explores themes such as human experience, identity, time, conflict, modernity, technology, culture, tradition, and how that connects to the essence of who we are. It provides a bridge between the old and the new and how the future of the evolution of our species relies on the collaboration of the two. The fourth wave of globalization belongs to Africa. It is important for African artists to be cognizant of this. We have had so much taken away from us throughout the centuries. It is time for us to not leave ourselves behind. It is time for us to reap the seeds of our forefathers in the forms of tradition, culture, and indigenous knowledge. It is time for us to sit in our stillness in order to reawaken to our power to become vessels of this extraordinary process unfolding, a process of being through creation and expression. Thank you.